In the name of Jesus. Jesus name. My daughter there with your glasses. Come. Zara basoto. Gorobo sete. I release God's grace and blessings over you. There's a sweet spirit here. Sweet spirit. In Jesus name. But you cry no more from this day. Receive it. How you doing? My daughter. I'm trying to read. Mtandazo. My daughter. Oh Lord. Hear me. Even as I say change of gears, you have to be in a different space. God, I pray, may change the surrounding. I see you serve God. Yes, Papa. Mm. For how long have you been in the church? For six years. For six years. But you come alone? No, I've got my children. My two kids. Your two kids? Yes. Where are they? The other Jesus. one is sitting there all the way to, and the one is serving the neighborhood. Lebone, all the way to. You see, there is all the way to, and there is Lebone. My God, my God. Wow, it is beautiful to Jesus. see. And where is your father? He's at home. He's at home. He's not in prison, working. He's working at Boxback Prison. My He's working God. at... Hallelujah. That's what he does, right? That's what he does. That is his job. He works in prison. He's not arrested. He works in prison. Yes. It's like a prison warder. Yes, Papa. In Boxburg. Yes. So I told you, you play with me, I'll send you to prison. Jesus. It's a prison water. Beautiful. Now, this is what I'm seeing. Standing here, the Lord say, He wants to change the environment. Good and Jesus. I see where you are. You're not active. God wants you to be active. God will do a few simple things. I will list them, right? God, the first thing He will do is with your health. He, he, he will touch your health. Restore your health. Do you understand the language of what I say, right? Yes, Papa. Okay, you understand it in details. So God will deal with that issue. He will make you well. That's the first thing that God will do. In fact, as I say, God will do this. He will also do that for your husband. Thank you, You know, sometimes it's not depression. It's like it's two people in one when it comes to your husband. He's suffering from a schizophrenia. Mm. Uh, come and explain to us. You say he's suffering for what? There is an anointing doctor that will help us. Schizophrenia. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. So the uh, schizophrenia and bipolar are two distinct conditions. So bipolar disorder is a mood disorder. It's a mood disorder in which a person's moods change very rapidly. They can change from hour to hour. Sometimes they can change maybe from week to week. But when the person, is, so the two phases are, one's a manic phase, in which a person becomes very energetic, very talkative, very impulsive. They may take very rash decisions and spend money and finish all the money very quickly. And then they go through phases where they're very depressed where they're very sad, they don't have any energy, they can't get out of bed, they don't want to do anything. Um, so that's bipolar disorder. And then there's another condition she mentioned, which is schizophrenia. 
Schizophrenia is, is regarded as a psychotic disorder. It's a condition in which someone has hallucinations, where they see things or hear things that aren't there. And they also develop delusions. They believe that sometimes like people are chasing them or people want to kill them and so on when there's no such going on. Um, and if he seems to have them together, then the condition is called schizoaffective disorder. All right. Reverend Doctor. Reverend Doctor. God will do the first thing. It will be with regard to health. Second thing I see, the Lord will stop the works of the enemy through witchcraft that is attacking you. Mm. You see evidence of it. Sometime, even in the house, in things that are you buy to have, you keep on seeing that this is not normal. It is like spiritual happenings that you cannot put your hands on are manifesting here and there, leaving you with questions. Lord, what else? I've anointed the house. I put salt. Is that correct? Yes, Pastor. That's so. Say it because it's true. Yes. Don't say it because it's true, Pastor. I'm going through a lot at my house. We're You're going, going through a lot in your house. And even their, their father is no longer going to work. It's been a month now, so they say they're going to give him early retirement because uh, 16 years he's suffering from this schizophrenia. Then he absconded from work. The third thing that God will do. There'll be, God wants you to remember. I know with life, when you get married, there are things that you, you choose to do. But I am seeing you health-wise strong, free in your family. But God is bringing you back to business. Amen. Business. I'm not just saying business on selling. I'm talking about specific. I'm seeing you playing a role in construction. Yes, Pastor. Glory do you understand Jesus. construction? Yes, too much. You do? Yes, Pastor. You I understand construction? I do have qualifications in construction. You have a qualification in construction? Yes, Pastor. So this is what the Lord says. The third thing that you will do, I see you going to construction. Mm. In this way, your finances will be blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Your children will be blessed. Already your children are blessed. Do you know anybody that was born in October? Me. Oh, you, you, you say what? <laughs> no, do, do, do this. I want to count. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, me. You're five. Hmm. It's prophesying now. <laughs> I was born October the 25th. We are October. You are October the 5th. Yes. Now you come. Come to me. And you were? Come join us because me and him. Hallelujah. Did you, did you understand that? He was born on the 5th of October. I was born on the 25th of October. 525 gives her birthday the 30th of October. Hallelujah. My goodness. Your children are blessed. They're both intelligent. He's intelligent, very intelligent. She's intelligent. You know that? Intelligent, right? All right. Now, stretch your hands. My daughter, serving God pays. Keep on serving him. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, Receive. thank you for your grace. Lord, thank you. Lord, is light. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you. If you were blessed by this video, please share and spread the message on social media using the share links in this video. Be sure to like and share our videos with your friends and family. Tune in to catch his next sermon on the public channel on AMI TV or on our live stream on amitv.com. Keep up with all his latest updates by following him on social media platforms at Elflukar.